So what's so great about the art layers in Toon Boom? What these layers do is they basically give you four extra drawing layers on top of each drawing node. And by plugging or unplugging these layers into the comp, we can isolate what we've drawn on each one. So here, that's our overlay. Plug in our line art. Plug in our color art, but not our line art. We can plug in our color art and our overlay. We can plug in our underlay and our overlay, or just our underlay. But lots of different combinations. If we're on our overlay, for example, and we have our select tool, I won't be able to select anything but what's on my overlay layer. Same thing, if I'm on my line art layer, I can only select my line art. This is especially useful in like traditional animation if you want to separate parts of your character, but you don't want to use different drawing nodes. Okay, okay, but what are some more practical applications for this? Well, if you want to cut something and make sure that your line art is still visible, make sure that you have your line on your line art layer and your fill on your color art layer. This way, you can cut whatever you want with your color art, let's invert that, and keep your line art in front. You go to move this, the line art stays in front, but the object is still getting cut. This is a great way to rig eyes or even details on a torso. And if you have a piece on your rig that's a little bit difficult to reach, you can put on an underlay layer and create a handle. So when we click this, we select the whole eye. Since it's on our underlay layer, we can separate this and make it only visible with a visibility node in the OpenGL view. So when we render this out, we won't see this dot. This is great for eyelids or ears or any part of your rig that is especially hard to click on. What we have is our original hand drawing substitution with everything drawn on our line art layer. What we did was we copied and pasted, just regular copy and pasted this over here, and then we added our overlay layer underneath. This is so when we want our fingers to overlap something like this, we draw those fingers on the overlay layer. And the reason we copied and pasted is because when we change one drawing substitution, it doesn't matter which hand we're on, the drawing substitutions are going to be synced. Well, I gotta say, those are some pretty useful tips.